In this video, we're going to look at an application of the derivative. Let's read this problem. It says the following graph shows the approximate total revenue in millions of dollars of Microsoft's MSN Internet Service Provider, as well as the portion of revenue due to advertising for the period June 2001 through January 2004. Here T is time and years since January 2000. Let S of T be the total revenue at time T and A of T be the revenue due to advertising at time T. Okay, a couple things to notice about this graph. First of all, we're used to our graphs starting at T equals zero, but this graph starts at T equals 1.5. So we just need to sort of be aware of that. And then this top graph, this is our total revenue. So this is our S of T. And the bottom graph, this is our A of T. So in part A, they ask us to state what the function S of T minus A of T measures. Okay, well, S of T minus A of T equals the revenue from sources other than revenue other than advertising. Next we're supposed to say what S prime of T minus A prime of T measures. Well, that's just the derivative of S of T minus A of T. Remember if we take the derivative of two functions that are added or subtracted, we just take the derivative of the first minus the derivative of the second, or you, you kind of go term by term. So S prime of T minus A prime of T is going to be the rate of change of revenue from sources other than advertising. So let's look at part B here. It says based on the graphs shown, S of T minus A of T is increasing, decreasing, increasing then decreasing or decreasing then increasing on the interval two to four. Okay, so let's go back up here to our graph a little bit. So we're looking for the interval two to four. So here is two, over here is four. And we have to measure, we have to say how the distance between our S of T and our A of T or our S of T minus A of T, how is that changing? Is it increasing, is it decreasing, or does it do both? So let's take a little piece of paper here and let's measure this distance. So at two, this is the distance that we start out at, right here. This is our S of T minus our A of T. And let's move this way to the right. I'm going to keep this top aligned with this top function. So as we move to the right here, do you see how this distance is getting a little bit bigger? Now the distance is maybe that much. Keep going to the right. Okay, that distance is getting smaller again and we're ending up basically where we started out at. So over here on the left, we start out at this distance here, this blue distance. And then as we move to the right, that distance gets a little bit bigger. See how it's a little bit bigger now? Keep going to the right. See, it's bigger. Keep going to the right. Now it's about where we started out at. So let's look at the problem again. Based on the graph shown, the distance between S of T minus A of T, that's the vertical distance, is increasing, decreasing, increasing, then decreasing, decreasing, then increasing. So remember we started out at a, that small amount. We started out at this distance and then it got a little bit bigger and then it went back to where it started from. So I think that what's happening is it's increasing then decreasing. So our answer is C. 
Okay, let's look at part C. Based on the graph shown, S prime of t minus A prime of t is positive, negative, positive, then negative, negative, then positive. Again, on that interval 2 to 4. So this is the rate of change in S of t minus A of t. So we just said in the previous part B, we just said that S of t minus A of t was increasing, then decreasing. So if S of t minus A of t is increasing, that means its derivative is positive. And when it's decreasing, that means its derivative is negative. So our answer here is positive then negative. Okay, so let's look at part D. So in this one, we're told the actual functions for S of t and A of t. And what we're supposed to do is compute and interpret A prime at 2, S prime of 2, and then S prime of 2 minus A prime of 2. So first, let's find A prime of t. So if I take this function and I take its derivative, so we have 20t squared, so the derivative of that is 40t. And then for the next term we have minus 27 plus 0. So A prime of t is 40 t minus 27. So this means that a prime at 2 is going to be 40 times 2 minus 27. So that's 80 minus 27. So that is going to be, let's see, 53. Okay, so let's interpret that. So first we need the when. So the when is when t equals 2. So remember, if we go back to our statement of our problem, t is time in years since January 2000. So if t equals 2, that would mean in January 2002. Okay, so that's our when. Next, our what. Well, we're talking about the total revenue. Okay, is it increasing or is it decreasing? Well, actually, the total revenue due to advertising, because this is A of T. Okay, so is increasing because our slope is positive. At the rate of 53. Okay, now, if we look back at the original statement of the, the problem, our units for our advertising and our revenue were in millions of dollars. So I'm going to put a little dollar sign here, and this is million, and then per year. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. In the second part, it says S prime of 2. So if we look and we first compute S prime of t, that means we're taking the derivative of s of t, which is 96t plus 190. So its derivative is just 96. So that means that the rate of change in the total revenue remains constant. So to write our interpretation, we would say in January of 2002, the total revenue is increasing by 96 million dollars per year. Okay, now in this last part we are supposed to compute s prime of t minus, I'm sorry, s prime of 2 minus a prime of 2. Well we actually already have done most of the work for that s prime of 2 is 96, 
a prime of 2 is 53. So 96 minus 53 is 43. We just need to write our sentence. So in January 2002, the revenue from sources other than advertising are increasing at a rate of 43 million dollars per year. So that's it for this video. Look for more examples on applications of a derivative.